Everybody, this is Beetle Five coming at you with another one of my reaction videos. Now today I will be reacting to uh, the death battle between Doctor Strange and Doctor Fate. Now before I get into that, I just wanted to talk about something really quick. Now I am a huge Super Smash Brothers fan, and just recently I saw the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Live Invitational 2018, and Oh god, I was blown away. I was originally going to react to it on my channel, but what happened was is that I got invited to watch it at my local Smash Brothers cafe down in New Jersey, and we watched it with a whole bunch of different people, and it was just, oh god, mind-blowing. Totally mind-blowing. I'm easily more excited now for this game, probably than I've been for any game in a long time. I probably haven't been this excited for a game since Smash 4. Like, literally, I feel like the way I did four years ago. So, that's how, I mean, it's, we got everybody, everyone is, who has ever been in Smash is coming back, that, 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 like, that's a huge deal for me, because, to be honest, I don't normally request too many newcomers, except sometimes, like, the unreasonable, like, I've really wanted Sora, and I've really wanted Bomberman to be in Smash Brothers, I mean, I, for years, I've wanted Little Mac and Pac-Man to both make it, and they both did, but just just seeing like it, the the biggest thing about it was me being able to see Pichu and Young Link again, like those two that really touched my heart. I grew up with Melee. Young Link and Pichu were both two of my favorite characters to play as. I just I loved them so much. If I had to pick uh, something in that game that I'm a little unhappy about happening is a uh, Bomberman being an assist trophy and not a character. The, oh god, I, I hated that more than anything, and I believe that Daisy is a colossal waste. I mean, it, I mean, just it's not really that that cool to promote clone characters. Oh, excuse me, as they call them, Echo Fighters. So I really don't think there's a reason for that. But whatever, Sakurai is a crazy man. So, but just all these returning fires, you got Ichu, Young Link, Ice Climbers, Wolf, Pokemon Trainer, and Snake. Oh my god, with Konami kicking itself in the nuts, I did not expect them to be able to bring Snake back, but, ooh, it's, boy, it's crazy, and then, of course, we can't forget Ridley, who I was, have been skeptical for for a long time, because I was one of those people that said, oh, he's too big for Smash Brothers, but, hey, I, I'll admit, I was proven wrong, R Ridley looks amazing, like, beyond cool. And this ranks it up to 68 total characters. That is, that's including me, Fighters, and the three Pokemon. The th yeah, the three Pokemon. But, oh man, just absolutely crazy. I, I cannot wait for that. I've already pre-ordered it. So, <laughs> that's going to be great when that comes. But anyways, on to the Death Battle now. Doctor Strange versus Doctor Fate. I, uh, no, Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts. Doctor Fate. I don't know jack shit about. I know his helmet is, it contains a separate dimension. Uh, I only know the little bit that I've ever seen of him in Injustice 2. So, I mean, like, I, I know what Doctor Strange is capable of, but I don't know what fate can do to counteract that. So, I mean, I guess we'll find out. So, let's just do this. I I, I mean, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm a bigger Marvel fan, so I'm going to want to vote on the Doctor Strange side, but too soon to say. So, let's begin. In 3, 2, 1. Here we go. The art of magic. You is shall a not pass. Only those with the right knowledge, oh, talent, and willpower can truly Snape. claim to be the most powerful wizards of all. Like Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme of Marvel Comics, and Doctor Fate, DC's Defender of Cosmic Order. He's wizard and I'm boomstick. Ew, infinite. And it's <laughs> our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, nice. Look at them. Dr. Stephen Strange film, wasn't honestly. just any brilliant neurosurgeon, he was the so. very best. Too bad he was also a prick who cared more about the money he made than the patients he worked on. Sensational patients bring recognition. Recognition brings money, and money keeps Wellhaven's doors open. Can't blame him, though. When your entire family kicks the bucket one by one like Stevens did, it's kind of hard to get attached to anybody else. Also, money's just great. Strange's talent yeah, at the operating is. table earned him celebrations worldwide. 
his work became more expensive, and his bank account rose into the millions. And then... Talking to Billy. This scene legit scared me. It came out of nowhere. So Don't text it. and drive, kids. Strange survived, but his hands got terrible nerve damage, making them useless for complex tasks like, oh, I don't know, surgery. Pretty inconvenient. To find a cure, Strange spent his entire fortune and traveled the globe until he found the, the ancient, ancient one. He had heard of this man's befuddling mystic healing powers, and at this point, he was up for trying anything. But the old dude refused to cure him. Instead, he offered to teach Strange how to use magic himself and become a superhero. Who needs hands when you have magic? Through his training, Strange discovered many secrets of the universe, along with plenty of handy spells. He has learned so many charms, jinxes, enchantments, conjurations, hexes, wow, and incantations that it would be his, impossible his to list them all now. But Marvel's he certainly Capcom has his favorites. Like the nearly I don't unbreakable like unbreakable bands of Sidorak. Unless you're super strong like the Hulk or Thanos. Oh, that's what no he used. That's what he used on Thanos. Chain. The Sidorak He can surround foes in everlasting fire with the flames of Faltine. Launch energy shots called the Bolts of Balthak. You hear say Balthak? Knock out foes with the mists of Morpheus. <laughs> and shield himself using the seven rings of Ragador. Who the hell came kidding. up with these spell names? Whatever happened to plain old Abracadabra? Everybody loves that one. Other techniques of his include illusions, hypnotism, protective force fields, telekinesis, immortality, time manipulation, immortality. power stealing, teleportation, dimensional travel, transmutation, spell nullification. And he can turn himself into a ghost. A astral projection. Ooh. That's his astral form, a projection of Strange's soul separate from his body, which defies the laws of physics. Look, Wiz, he can go through walls and fly around. That's a ghost. To invoke these spells, Strange audibly calls upon the powers of the Vishanti, three godly beings of enormous power. Oh, that one's a kitty. I summon four oh, he does draw power from Dormammu? From the Dark Dimension? He sure puts Mysterio's hocus pocus to shame. <laughs> anyway, after many years focus. of study, Strange's mentor was slain by a creepy hentai monster, and Strange was granted the title of Sorcerer Supreme, which is like a normal sorcerer with all the toppings. Oh As goodness. Sorcerer Supreme, Strange was deemed the most powerful magic user and defender of the world. To better perform his duties, he carries numerous magical artifacts which assist him in battle. The Cloak of Levitation lets him fly without magic I have and has a mind of its own. It's like Aladdin's thing, magic so. carpet, but way more stylish. The Wand of Watum amplifies his powers, and the Axe of Angarumus, whatever, cuts <laughs> through mystical beings. Fun fact, Strange found that axe in my ex-wife's old witch cave. I mean apartment. But nice. most versatile of all is the Eye of Agamotto. With this amulet, Strange can perceive any truth, absorb massive Mixed amounts of energy, this enhance his psychic strange. powers, oh. and fire a light the that can weaken oh, okay. and obliterate so magical it's, it's only entity. Infinity Stone and MCU. If you haven't noticed, right. Doctor Strange Makes is sense. super powerful. With all this magical mumbo jumbo, he's taken on some of the biggest threats in the universe. Set me free! I've now, come to bargain. I've come to bargain. And if he ever gets stuck, he basically just rewrites the rules of reality. And turns it into Inception. Which is what happens when you divide by zero. That's not even possible. Exactly! It's magic whiz. Anything can happen. Strange's astral form has traveled across the planet in, quote, precious seconds, putting him at several million miles per hour. The hell's precious even seconds? Even better, when Adam Warlock once used an infinity gem to banish Strange to the far infinity reaches of the gem? universe, Strange just nah, cast a spell that zoomed him that, all the way back. That doesn't oh, yeah. F you, Adam. Given what we see here, Doctor Strange was most likely sent to a void, or a large empty area between galaxies. The void where our galaxy resides is about 2 billion light years in diameter, with the Milky Way set relatively close to the center. Based on Strange's conversation here, we can assume a generously short time frame of 5 seconds. So, Strange must have moved over 4.2 septillion miles per hour. That's six quadrillion times the speed of light. Damn! Oh, how that puts that the time flash he the to soul shame. Out of his arch nemesis and sent him Seriously. Back in time. Or when he restored his cloak of levitation from mere scraps. Or when he beat up Galactus and totally scrambled his brain. 
With his immense magical prowess, Strange has survived blasts from Voltor, a robot with the power to move stars, and even withstood a supernova. At minimum, an exploding star outputs over 350 septillion gigatons of TNT. Ah. That's six octillion Whoa, times plan right greater there, than the Oh my god, is Doctor Strange on bar level made. with Superman yeah, here? Well, like seriously, he sounded an himself. awful lot like That's Superman right. right now. This guy uses supernovas as Weapons. That Strange feels it was too, be too difficult clever, to claim and while his physique soul. is not superhuman, it's worth noting that he is a talented athlete and martial artist. Oh this is important, God. as the use of magic can wear down the magician's body if it is unfit. His immortality has also proved incredibly useful. I'll say, he's looking pretty good for a guy born in the 1930s. More than that, at one point Strange was recruited by the Vashanti to fight in a magical war, which lasted 5,000 years. Oh my god, it's like Shit. Super John Lennon. Really good veterans benefits after that. But for real, this guy has the power to protect the universe and reshape it however he wants. I know which doctor I'm calling the next time I'm sick. Who are you? I'm Doctor Strange. Sorcerer Supreme. Dude. I think Doctor Strange is gonna fucking obliterate him. Stay. Do you believe in fate? I only believe in one thing, Wiz. 18 year, 100 proof whiskey. Oh, nice. Well, after accompanying his father on an archaeological expedition in Mesopotamia, 12 year old Kent Nelson certainly did. Instead of digging up boring old artifacts like tools or pottery, Kent uncovered a 10 billion year old god. Too bad waking him up also gassed Kent's dad to death. Oh. This slumbering god was Nabu, a lord of order born from the very beginning of the universe. While Nabu normally cares little about the universally inconsequential concerns of individual humans, at least this time dollars. was different. Nabu took the newly orphaned Kent under his wing and taught him the ways of magic. Oh, sweet! I'd take a god dad over an ordinary one any day. But really, I'd just Treasure planet dad. again? Though Nabu god, wasn't too film. keen on the actual parenting part of the deal. So he just magic Kent into a full grown adult over the course of a week. Oh. Does that mean he got hit with all those Oh, years Christ, of I remember that. All at once? Oh, goodness. My god. Talk about a mood swing. <laughs> to master the mystic arts, Nabu granted Kent three ancient relics. First and foremost, Kent donned the golden helmet of fate. Well, Kent woke up the physical body, Nabu's soul is actually inside this helmet. Oh. So when Kent put it on, his spirit merged with Nabu's and they became Dr. Fate. I am an agent of order. Wait, he's 12. Technically, he can't be a doctor yet, right? <laughs> well, oh my time, god, her, him is in Zatina, I think her name in archaeology. is. That's Good for funny. him. Anyway, he's also got the Cloak of Destiny, which gave him flight, super strength, and superhuman durability. Okay. Lastly, he received the Amulet of Anubis, a talisman which increases fate's powers, counters opposing magic, and can launch an intense beam of magical firepower. It also houses its own pocket dimension. Oh, so it's that they just got the dimension. Doctor Fates okay. reside. I was right oh yeah, that. lots of people have worn that shiny helmet, and not all of them were doctors. Okay. Even Kent's wife Inza got in on the magic action. But Kent is like the main one, so we're sticking with him. As Doctor Fate, Kent became the immortal champion of the supernatural Lords of Order in their fight against when the vile Lords filmed? of Chaos. And he learned tons of wacky wizard skills he can use with just a thought. Perfect for putting chaos gods in their place. Fate can use telekinesis, cast illusions, erect force fields, hypnotize foes, read minds, teleport vast distances, create an astral projection of himself, travel Great, through we time got two immortal guys even fighting each other. matter at a molecular level. Let's face it, Wiz. He's well, we don't so can manipulate powerful, time. He can basically do whatever the hell he wants. Like that time he did a Freaky Friday body swap with Blue Beetle like it was nothing. He can even conjure up Superman's Kryptonian powers for himself. That's right. This guy can just decide to be Superman for a day. With his mighty magic, fate has turned buildings into dust, thrown a planet into a sun, and physically held back the destruction of the universe. The helmet, just the helmet, once flew through space what? so fast it reached the velocity of oh God. God it bounced off the edge of the universe. What the hell does Holy that even mean? God, fate has fucking damn, his body DC. From a single thought withstood hits from the likes of Superman and Ultraman, and somehow survived a dimension time. of reality where literally times nothing up. exists. Are you kidding me? Decillion? Right 
Also, when DC decided to reboot their entire comic line, Fate was one of the only characters to survive the crisis that literally collapsed the multiverse. But he does have one big weakness. The helmet is Nabu, and Nabu is the source of Fate's powers. So if you remove the helmet, he loses his magic. For the most part, Kent does possess some magical ability of his own, like telekinesis and super strength, but he's not even remotely close to the potential of Dr. Fate. And even further from the true fate. When the souls of a man, a woman, and a god come together, in this case Kent, Inza, and Nabu, they create Dr. Fate's ultimate state of being. What? An entity with enough power to rip the universe apart and effortlessly overpower other lords of order and chaos. Sadly, like all menage a trois scenarios, keeping this going for too long could destroy all three of them. So fate doesn't go final form unless he absolutely has to. Still, of he will. the people of the cosmos can sleep easy knowing fate is on their side. Oh, your fate is utterly binding. Who are you? Well, let me show you, my friend. Okay. I took back what All I right, said. The combatants are Fate set. is gonna Let's fucking di galactically but dominate Strange. A wizard in the kitchen. Like, are you are you kidding me with this? It, it doesn't even sound fair. Like, whew, I, they both almost have the exact same powers. They're both immortal, but uh, Fate seems I I don't know numbers particularly, but I'm pretty sure Decimillion is bigger than Septillion. So, Fate is faster than Strange. As to what can kill either of them, oh god, I don't I don't even know. Like what is, what is one of Strange's actual weaknesses as opposed to Doctor Fate's one weakness? Really, just the helmet has to be removed, and he's doesn't have nearly as much power. I don't know. I just ah, uh, you know what? Let's go. For, oh fuck! It's the wrong thing. But you know what? I'm gonna go for broke here and just say strange. I don't know. I mean, I, again, I like Marvel more. DC will probably kick the ass, but I mean, I just I don't know Strange's weaknesses. Now, yeah, yeah, screw it. I'll go with Strange. Why not? I could use a loss. Most of the time, I guess I'm right. So. That's Blue Apron Duck. Oh, it's time for a death battle! Alrighty, come on, Strange. Maybe you could pull this off. Just maybe. I have a feeling this fight would be absolutely fucking insane if it wasn't 3D. I have a feeling it'll be insane right now. Stephen Strange. Oh, boy. It has come to my attention that there are two Sorcerer Supremes in this existence. I am here to resolve this embarrassment. Oh! I see somebody needs a lesson in manners. Okay. Here we go. Bolts of thought attack. Okay. Already fakes kicking more ass. Taste the flames of the fourteen! <laughs> How's that for embarrassment? Uh -oh. Fool, you are merely a doctor. I am a god. I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't think your name is God Fate. Oh, shit. Okay, pyramid heads coming up. Whoa, where are we going? Oh, he's traveling through dimensions. What the fuck? Oh. You travel through all those dimensions just to hit him from behind? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna get weird. I can just tell. Hey. Whoa. Ooh. What the fuck? They're in the, the most season cantina? Oh, okay. Um, Rainbow Road from Mario Kart? <laughs> Boy, they can just go wherever the fuck they please, can't they? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's lost the cloak of levitation. Oh, and they're out of dragon. With two moves. I understand your power now. I hope so. Oh, there's a cloak. 
Oh shit! <laughs> Blanket of death! Oh! <gasps> You're fucked! You're fucked, dude! Just a man in disguise. Let's see how you fare with <laughs> Oh damn! Oh, okay, punch to the face. Yeah, strange. <laughs> yeah, strange. Shut the fuck up. Oh god. Oh, okay. Friend once told me the helmet doesn't make the man. All oh, right, the helmet can move on its own. I forgot. Okay, here we go. Witness your true fate. Oh boy. Oh no, he's gonna have sex! <laughs> oh my god. True fate form. This might be the end of Strange. I can't stop you here. Maybe the Dark Dimension? Oh, oh! Oh, his astral form went inside the fucking... By the hoary hosts of Hoggest. My god, where am I? Doctor Strange. Welcome to Nabu. Whoa. Oh, oh my god, why? Oh, Strange, you fucked yourself big time, dude. Yeah. Oh, he's. Oh! 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 Oh my god! Yeah. He's dead. To never take a life or whatever. As expected, Analyzing this DC was is bizarre. fucking crazy! You might even say it was strange? Save the puns, Wiz. That's my job. But yeah, both these doctor wizards were so stupidly powerful, yeah. trying to find their limit was like looking for a needle in a haystack. But nobody remembered to pump the needle there in the first place. With their maximum potential seemingly unmeasurable, it's easy to make an argument for either one to win. If given the chance, Strange could have certainly, say, stolen Fate's powers, or maybe even just willed him out of existence. I bet plenty of Strange fans are letting us know how in the comments below. And that's fine, but Death Battle looks at the larger picture to find the most likely outcome of them all, and Fate simply held the advantage on a grander scale. Strange may have fought a 5,000 year war, but Nabu's been around since the beginning of the universe, over 10 billion years. He definitely had way more experience. Fate also had the advantage of casting the majority of his spells non-verbally, while many of Strange's required yeah, specific to... hand movements and incantations. Yeah. Still, it was only a matter of time until Fate the Eye of Agamotto informed Strange of Fate's Tech one weakness. And the host Depowering him no wasn't as easy as you'd think. He had his own magic, and his superhuman strength was something Strange didn't have at all. Basically, anything Strange could do, Fate could do too. But yeah, even more. Not like Remember how Strange yeah, I'm gonna cast say, a spell which moved Fate could still get out of time in the ancient. Yep. Regardless now, remember of time how Fate's stone. helmet flew from Earth to the edge of the universe and back? It took about one year to make this trip. Given the estimated scope of the observable and unknown universe, a trip of this magnitude would require the helm to fly nearly that. 28 decillion times the speed of light. That's over four quintillion times faster than Strange. Look at it this uh, way. Strange was a man borrowing the powers of a god, while Fate's a god borrowing a man. Plus, that power boost with Inza's of soul from the amulet put Fate on a level above the gods in his universe. Something Strange I don't understand really how do Superman himself. could be the Both strongest Dr. person Strange in DC and Dr. if Fate this man exists. Incomprehensibly impressive like, magic, serious. But Fate held more experience, greater physical fuck up, abilities, Superman. and a wider range of talents. Which left Steven stuck with a strange twist of fate. Oh the winner is Dr. Fate. That was mind fucking. What a crazy Thanks battle. Watching, guys. If you want exclusive commentary on this episode, click that I'm not even bummed that strange loss. I'm just fucking There's baffled. Link in the description. See you next time. Jesus. All right. Re Ryu again? Ryu versus Jin? Okay. A, a 3D fight of Ryu versus Jin. I'm down. I'm down for that. Hell, maybe eh, maybe he'll win this time. Last time, Scorpion destroyed him. But, dude, that's cool. I also think this is the first time they're bringing in a Tekken character.
do like Tekken. But anyways, oh my god, what a crazy fucking fight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment if we don't such a black dude in the future. Now I will see you guys next time. Laters!